Oh, all right, just finished the gym. I've been advising a guy at the gym for over a year. And every single time I give him advice and I come back and I do a checkup when I meet him at the gym, nothing is done for over a year. Then he comes today with this crap about, oh, do you know anything about network marketing? I said, listen, man, I've been around forever. I've, I have participated in so many freaking network marketing businesses, it's not funny. It's not a business you want to get into and think that you become, you're gonna become rich. And I said to him, and gentlemen, this goes to all of you. I said, network is all about networking. Meaning I refer my clients or my friends to you. If I think that you have a viable business and you're trustworthy, you're hardworking. I said, why would I refer anybody to you? I said, you're literally one of the laziest guys that I've actually mentored. He said, no, 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 I'm hardworking. You telling me you're hardworking does not carry merit. Your ability isn't determined by you. Your your skills aren't determined by you. Your skills are determined by the market. So if I say that you are lazy, you have not proven to me that you're not lazy. I said the market determines you. It's as simple as that. So I don't give a shit how much you tell me how hard working you are. If you haven't proven to me that you're a hard worker, you're just lazy. You're still lazy. Market determines value not the seller. You're trying to sell me on something, you haven't convinced me of it, you either haven't done a good job of selling me, or you haven't demonstrated that your value is worth the price you're asking. This, my friend, is the key that you have to understand. And this applies to your sexual marketplace value, this applies to your business marketplace value, your trust marketplace value, all of these things, there is a value placed on every single action that you do, gentlemen. And so when I hear all of these ladies who profess about how, how beautiful they are and how hardworking and, and, and how... 10? I think I'm 10. Oh, I'm a 10, most definitely. At the moment, I'm a fucking 11. Are you kidding me? I'd probably give myself a five or six right now. What do you like about myself? I like everything about myself. I just also see myself realistically. They make a great wife and they could do this and they could do that, but yet they don't demonstrate these things. They have no track record of these things. How can a man look at you and say, hey, that's the woman that I want to invest my time, energy, attention and, and, and money in by putting a ring on it. No, that's not how life works, my friend. Get this into your head, ladies and gentlemen. The value of something is determined by the market, not by you. This idea that you put your market on yourself and you're a 10 and no one can tell you that you're not a 10. You can live in your delusion as long as you want. Men, we tell each other when you have no value. You're fat, you're broke. Your fashion looks like shit. Your communication skills are shit. You act like a thug. You don't carry yourself like a man. I mean, all of these things are what makes you valuable. So if you're a man and you're gonna tell another man about your value and how valuable you are and haven't demonstrated it, you're acting like a woman. Stop that shit. Stop it. It's not healthy for you. You're delusional and you're fooling yourself. If you wanna show your value as a man, you actually step up and demonstrate that value to another person. And it must be done over time. If you don't demonstrate your value over time, it's almost as if you're pretending. Look out for this video. I'm gonna be doing a longer form video on high value man. What is a high value man? Because a lot of questions I'm getting is based on, hey, you know, how do I become a high value man? Now, this term became much more popular with uh, the GOAT himself, Kevin Samuels. I agree with Mr. Samuels on a lot of what he says is a high value man. And listen, he didn't come up with the term and he readily admit it's not his idea. He just refined it, put his spin on it, and with his eloquence and delivery, he made it sound so simple and straightforward. But there are a lot of nuances to it, which he readily admits. So look forward to that video coming up. Okay, I'm gonna cut this short. This is just me wanting to express these thoughts as I'm coming from the gym and uh, having this conversation with this guy. I wanted to get it out there before, you know, the information leaves my mind, before I forget a lot of this stuff, getting old. <laughs> All right, guys, subscribe, hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, cheers.